Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and welcome to This Week On. Well, we had a strange week this week because the live show was on Monday due to some delays from last weekend. It kind of pushed round, made this week really hectic, which is why we, we took a day off on Friday. But um, next week, we'll be back to normal. We'll have a daily video out. No problemo. All right, the games we covered this week were Ank, Veilrath, and Wolfenstein. Ooh. We also did a special video this week um, where our manager, who is a trained accountant, um, gave her take on the crises with Command's finances. And we did a, a unique video for that, which you can check out that we did. Um, it is a special video that we put out this week before the Ang video. And they go two together, really. I, I think if you're backing if you're backing Ang, you really should hear the thoughts of our accountant on what she thinks. And in short, it is not a good thing that the company is has a going concern label on it. It is never a good thing. And companies do everything they can to avoid this happening. So there is concern that you need to have. We'll explain more of that in this video. All right, so that is kind of the news I want to share with you. Um, so let's go to the big three this week. The big three. Now, just before we talk about Ank, if you go to our Kickstarter page here, then please press show more because we have chapters here. It sometimes works on some computers, but not unfortunately. It should show like links down the bottom what we're talking about, but you can click the link if the one hour video is intimidating for you. Just quickly go to anything that you want to know. Our final thoughts, the $1 pledge, what we think of the miniatures. Um, so you've got it all here so you can skip to content that you're interested in. It's completely up to you what you want to get from the video here. This is an interesting thing that we're trying out uh, to help you with our very long videos. And hopefully you'll find that helpful. So just you just have to click the show more button. All right, let's go to our quick thoughts on Ank. The Kickstarter of the week. Yes, it's the Kickstarter of the week. Yes, it's Ank. Battle of the Gods. Now, this Kickstarter is the first come on game that has me looking at it fantastically. I love this Kickstarter. Firstly, um, they are allowing $1 pledges, which people keep saying, there's no letting $1 pledge. There's not, they're not doing it. They are, look at the FAQ. Anyhow, um, so even if you are worried about the financial struggles of Come On, then um, you don't need to worry. Just $1 pledge and wait for the 2019 financials to come out to give more confidence in what the company's doing. Um, that's, that's the suggested. The Kickstarter is doing really well and we love the minis, we love the alternate minis across the board especially on the camels we love that you can see here we love the attention to detail on the board oh it looks fantastic and we love the concept of how the gameplay works it's very unique we love the theme we love the kickstarter we love the stretch goals are updating all the components and if you go to the stretch goal and see what update what components got update you can click that and it takes you to the update page which explains that part of the gameplay, that part of the game, how that stretch goal is going to change the game. It's very cool. We like that. And my goodness, they are throwing updates at you like there is no tomorrow. Well, we... <laughs> I don't mean that to be a, literally, you know, there won't be a tomorrow. You know, is this going to be the last game? No, no, no. Oh, man, look at the, and the video. Best video of the year for me. Looks great. So much love gone into this video. High production. It really is triple A in your face and a good competitor for Frosthaven for sure. Well, there's Ank recommended. Oh, yeah. Kickstarter of the week. 
Now, I'm doing really well. Almost 15,000 backers. This is great. S hitting 1.2 million is very, very good, isn't it? I'm gonna, the update, we're just gonna go down to the stretch goals because they have been destroying the, the stretch goals. And, um, yeah, this is kind of showing you what they've unlocked. I want to go down to what the next ones are. As we did cover this extensively um, this week. We do love all these um, tokens that you're getting. You can see Kickstarter badge, ex Kickstarter exclusive badge on everything here, which is great. This is a true Kickstarter. It's updating all the components, which is great to see. We are, oh, I mean, look at this. Even getting miniatures for the monuments you're going to be building on the map. Oh, man. They are really pushing it. Um, interesting though to see is all this going to fit in the main box how big is this box going to be is an, is the insert going to be also a stretch goal that's what we want to see from them um, which is very good if we click this like I mentioned in, in the update it takes you to a nice page where they talk about that and um, oh yeah when you build yourself a temple it will look good oh yeah and this is why it's Kickstarter of the Week, because it's doing an amazing campaign. It's making us come back to see what they have next and um, what possibly, what else can they do? There's lots of Kickstarters coming out that are saying, oh, we're not doing stretch goals, we're throwing everything in. And it's like, really? Frosthaven, are you really doing everything you could do? Really? No. There would be a heap of people buying miniature packs and things like that from Frosthaven. So that, for me, Frosthaven is a tired Kickstarter page. The most boring updates I have ever seen in a Kickstarter of a game doing so well. And yeah, I've kind of forgotten all about Frosthaven already. And when an update comes, it's like whoopee doo, another. Another update like yesterday's update, like yesterday's update of, of another design, guest designer coming on. Whoopee doo! We want to see the game evolved from component upgrades from what is in the game. Anyway, Ank is not doing any of that. It's the polar opposite of the Frost Haven campaign and it is amazing. We highly recommend it. That's the update. Keep coming back to this one. It's great. And we've got it on reminders now because I don't want an email all the time from Ank. Goodness gracious me, there's going to be a bunch. And of course, we want to know... If there's going to be an expansion or something, the commands tactic, will we see something else come in the form of an expansion box? Well, nothing yet. We may see something in the next 16 days. We will keep you posted on Kickstarter Radio 102.4. Veil Wraith is a fantasy quest game and it's um, a battle game. And um, it's a solo game. You can play multiplayer, but you actually need more copies than one base game. Which is, um, well, okay, if that's the case. Now the game is in black and white because the lore is saying that the world has ended. The color of the world has been taken away. And the, you are trying to bring the color back. That's the goal of the campaign. Now the campaign is five vignettes long, they're calling it vignettes. However, if you um, pay more for the expansion, then you get 15 more vignettes. 15 more! So from five to 15, um, it's almost you have to get the all-in pledge, um, which is around a hundred. Dollars, bing, 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 bing. Is that the is that the new goal for every company on Facebook, on Facebook, on Kickstarter to do hundred dollars? We think so. But um, yeah, there's some playthroughs you can check out uh, from the actual dev, and it actually plays out fairly interesting. It's not got us wanting to back it because we prefer games that have got more scope, and we don't really like the the. Uh, black and white stuff what can we say we'll never play a computer game that's in black and white and we'll never play a game that's in black and white i'm sorry that's the four of us we like it to pop on the table 
but if you don't mind it then certainly do take a look at it we made a nice deep dive video of it so yeah you take take a quick look at it maybe you will maybe it's your jam and we actually did like some things that were going on the campaign so but yeah but anyway let's check to see if there are any updates on this kickstarter well, as you can see here, it says no stretch goals as the basically saying you're getting a complete game, so you're almost playing, you're paying for a retail. There's no Kickstarter exclusive. But that doesn't mean they can't be updating the game. Now, they did get over a thousand backers, which was great, so they are at least saying something. And the are also revealing new videos that are coming out, which is nice. And, um,. And you know where it's being covered online, so that's pretty good. And um, yes, yeah, so it is getting recommended around. There is a pretty nice buzz around this game, so um, it's an actually a nice post. This for actually sharing with people if you uh, you know you want to share some love. FAQ has been fairly long, and there's a nice question: How long with the pledge manager? Well, that is as vague an answer. You might as well have not answered it if you say that. <laughs> And if you look at Gloomhaven, for example, they are like saying when the $1 pledge will end. So it gives you an indication of how long the pledge manager is. And um, but, but yeah, I mean, it's going to go to retail. So you can't give us an idea about that. Is it going to be long, longer than a month? Is it going to be two to three months? Give us some kind of number instead of a non-answer. Um, so yeah, there we go. There we go. So... Um, thousand backers doing well short campaign nice comments coming on here and um, so yeah a good a good post if you're still on the fence go to updates too lots of good videos there to further out the experience and um, hopefully if you are at least curious um, then after watching our video after watching these videos to get a full take on the on the project and see if it is worth your hundred dollars knocking down on this what does look to be a solo game with fantastic art across the board. All right, let's go to the next one after this. The next social stretch goal on KISS 102.4 is the 250 subscriber. Subscribe today and unlock new music that will change the music in all the videos in the future. You could be part of the evolution. Oh, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein. Yes, I've played every Wolfenstein computer game. Um, I love this genre. I love it. I love this Kickstarter too. Just not as blown away as Come On, but it's an editor's choice because it is so good. <clears throat> we love how the tiles look. Looks like some, like they got the Manchester of Madness second edition artist to do the tiles top draw tiles look how beautiful they are and i guess one thing that it did not get the kickstarter of the week is because of the lack of scenarios we would have liked to have seen more and um, potentially it could come out as an expansion during the campaign um, we'll just have to see but yes we want to see more 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 content please more scenarios is what we want to see uh, ju juicy stretch goals also um, that have been unlocking and otherwise a solid title fantastic alternate dungeon crawler and alternate history and tons of killing that you'll be doing in this game just like the computer game and um, what's different about the computer game is you can play this co-op which is cool and of course you can play it solo and um, yeah it's a, a lot about it is sneaking around and not getting not alerting the enemies because you get a ton more minis to deal with if that is your case and they're doing this um, really strange um, sculptured terrain here which kind of loses the art of the tiles but other than that really good amazing but let's have a look at the updates well, Wolfenstein's doing great. Look, th over 3,000 backers. They're, they're advertising this. 15 stretch goals. Hey, funded in, funded in 20 minutes. We don't even care about that one. Anyway. <laughs> Why the short campaign, Wolfenstein? Why? Why? 
Now, when we did the video of this, they contacted the, one of the devs came in and said, like a bird. If you do the $1 pledge, you do get the option to upgrade during the pledge manager. And I'm like, okay. And I think what he really meant to say is the All Stars expansion Kickstarter exclusive. That's what all the exclusives are going in the All Stars box. And you will be able to upgrade your account from the $1 to get the expansion Kickstarter box. So that just cleaning that up from our video. So it's silly all this information. They're giving too much information here. Just say no early bird and um, you'll be able to upgrade your pledge in the pledge manager. I don't know why they're talking about stretch goals here when clearly it's just going to be a box. Um, anyhow, there's more information on the spruces since we did the video. Let's go down. Sometimes you need to go. Here it is. Look at this. The miniatures. Take a step oh, this is going to turn people off straight away. <laughs> uh, not us, though. We don't care about this. We used to make paper. We used to make plastic planes, remember, in the 1980s, and they all came on spruces. No problem. And you can see how great the bases look here. Really good. And, uh, and this means you can guarantee top quality from the minis. It is hips plastic after all. Um, the Kickstarter exclusive early bird. Here he is for $10. Ouch. <laughs> Uh, stretch goals, they have been knocking it out of the park. We got the singing fat lady, um, which is cool. Learning upgrade on the maps. These ball, plastic balls, look at these. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. They look phenomenal, don't they? Oh, man, that is a dream to have for your, for your player board. More content is unlocking which is good to see getting some objectives on the map you can see a b c d on these they are different um you could even paint these a little bit different i'm saying paint because it's spruced it's coming spruced you're going to be painting this up you're going to be painting it linen upgrade of the box yes please uh twins is it twins i have no idea sisters i don't know i don't know um, this new mode, All Stars Battle Game Mode, sounds great. It sounds like it's going away from its scenarios and going into a skirmish, which sounds good. Um, and the plastic tray is shown and the ladder bottom, but um, yeah, we can see the nice retro haircut here. It is Alt Universe, it is based 1960 after the Second World War was won by the Nazis. Um, is the lore so yeah great to see 1960s haircut it is based on the 60s and look at the size of this super gun oh my god look how look how big the cartridge is for the bullets in this thing what's it shooting out elephant bullets um so yeah very very good they have this optional buy look one dollar <laughs> Just put a one dollar pledge. Oh. So yeah, Easter. There is a bit of a backlash against this company, and um, Ank is using Easter as well. But again, Kick Wolfenstein are doing hips plastic, so they've addressed that issue big time. So so yeah only four updates you'd expect an update daily with kick wolfenstein so they can show off more stuff it'd be nice to show off more um you know more close-ups of the art and and stuff but you know talking about side missions good and talking about shipping weird and the goals but yeah hopefully we expect more updates coming and look how many comments they've got um, yeah, it's blowing up big time. I do like this, like um, how they're displaying all the stretch goals in little squares like this is kind of cute. 
Anyway, there's Wolfenstein. Yay! You know, that's all our Kickstarters this week. Um, <laughs> so let's go to the channel news. All right, we're finally on the channel news. And, um, well, we almost at 200 subscribers, which ain't too bad. And <laughs> we are over 17,000 views now, which is very cool. We're getting close to 20,000 views, which will be first. The 250 sub unlock or the 20,000 views. Ooh, a little bit of a race going on. Sounds good. A quick update on the BGG. They're just ignoring us. Um, they're ignoring our, all our messages now. So communication is dead with BGG. If you do have BGG, please get on them and ask them to at least give our researcher it back because it simply is not fair to ban our researcher from BGG after something that I did. And at the end of the day, my, the crime was posting a link of a game in the forum of that game and so so yeah it's, it's terrible absolutely terrible news we might actually be doing a video this week because we'll end up we're, we're going to put a boycott badge on it if we don't hear anything by wednesday that'll be a almost a 21 day ban from that day so um it, it's yeah boycott is looming is all we're gonna say so on that bombshell this is you've been watching this week on and uh, thank you so much for watching please like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, yes I've got a good week coming up live show happening tomorrow do you want to mention that um, you see the times here now and yeah you've been listening to kickstarter radio 102.4 i'm lipstick patty you take care stay safe and bye bye for now